Alright. Welcome to my shotgun build, you spreading bastards. This time I'm doing blunderbuss build. For the very first time, blunderbusses have been patched, so there's no more infinite loop. But they are still very powerful, which I'm gonna demonstrate in this video. I'm combining Paladin and Ranger. Paladin's got two really cool things that you need. One is complete resistance to perception afflictions, so that we can use Powder Burns model ability for Blunderbuss. That way we won't get minus 5 perception debuff. Also, Flames of Devotion are still awesome ability that works very well with this. The subclasses that I went are Sharpshooter and Bleak Walkers. Ranger can also be used as no subclass or that one that gives you Ghost Companion. All three are fine. I went with Sharpshooter because of these two bonuses. Bleak Walkers because of the Flames of Devotion, obviously. For race, I would suggest Heart Orlan, but go for whatever you want. Heart Orlan gives you hit to crit conversion when an enemy that you are attacking is also being threatened by a teammate. Stats should look something like this, might at 15, constitution 7 or 8, then these three as high as possible, but perception can be a bit lower at around 15, 16, because you have a lot of accuracy bonuses from ranger anyway. So if you want, put these points into dexterity or intellect. Intellect is important because it increases AoE range of blunderbuss modal ability powder burns. Result can be dumped. I would suggest that you go also for alchemy as active skill, which I'm gonna suggest now in probably all of my builds because it's so goddamn powerful, it should be used. Alchemy is used to craft powerful drugs that will last a long time and have increased effect. From ranger abilities, what we need is marked prey upgraded to marked for the hunt. Wounding Shot upgraded to Accurate Wounding Shot is optional. We will use Flames of Devotion mostly, but at the beginning of the game and throughout the mid-game you can use Accurate Wounding Shot when you run out of points to use Flames of Devotion. That's all from active abilities. From passive ones I went with Resilient Companion just so that it can survive more stuff. Although I am not using Companion at all, I'm just having them in the back doing fuck all. Take Marksman as well, although Marksman does not work with Blunderbuss because Blunderbuss got 4 meter range and this only works for enemies that are further than 4 meters, it works with driving flight and AOE attacks that are further away from 4 meters. It will be calculated into that accuracy. Definitely take Gunner and 2 weapon style. Ones that are a must from here on out are Driving Flight, Uncanny Luck to convert some more hits to crits, Survival of the Fittest, Improved Critical, and Superior Camouflage. As for the rest, I took uh, also Strengthened Bond to get more defenses when our bastard is next to us. From Paladin Tree, what you need Sworn Enemy upgraded to either of these two, both are fine. Flames of Devotion upgraded to Eternal Devotion. Zealous Aura upgraded to Exalted Focus to get some more hit to crit conversion. And that's it from active abilities. From passive ones, Retribution is nice. Usually when I have Paladin I go with Mental Fortress to resist Intellect Afflictions. And also clear head to resist perception afflictions. Both really good passives. Definitely go for Sign of Flame as well. Powder Burns is fire damage in an area. So this helps with that. Virtuous Triumph is a must as well. 
and take stoic steel because you will be standing a lot. So it works very well with shooter builds. I have one last point remaining, you can put it wherever you want. As for the gear, go for light armor. If you can, take Maya's armor, sharpshooter's garb, that works best with this. I didn't have it here, but that would be the best choice. There is also a nice hat called Asina's Tricorn. It gives you plus 5 to range accuracy and minus 10 to reload time. I don't really know where to get it, but I'm sure someone can help in comments. As for blunderbusses, I went with kitchen stove. It gives you multi-shot, well piercing, gives you a lot of nice things. And I also went with wild barrage, which is ridiculously good. You can use it two times per rest. And with high intellect setup, it will work for much longer period of time. I also went with hand mortar. Upgraded to point blank so that I do a lot of damage to enemies that are close to me. This will work with normal blunderbusses as well. Only these two are easy to get and are really good for what we're trying to do. Now for the combat demonstration. It's really simple. At the beginning of the battle, turn on Zealous Focus and Powder Burns. Now you're ready. You just have to put Sworn Enemy and Marked Prey on the same guy and then hit them with everything you've got, which is Flames of Devotion. You'll see plenty of AoE damage done, thanks to Powder Burns and the Driving Flight, and also some of the bonuses from the unique blunderbusses that we're using. Cool thing is that you also have Wild Shot ability at your disposal, so when you use that it's even more powerful. You can only use it two times per rest, so save it for the toughest of fights. Though with this setup I don't think any fight will be tough. You just have to have a tank that's gonna be up front tanking everything while you kill everyone. I'm not sure what are all these connections with multi-strike from kitchen stove, then wild shot, then uh, driving flight and powder burns. It's really difficult to know what works with what, but I believe everything bloody works. That everything is connected somehow to each other. I cannot confirm nor deny it, but the most important thing is that the build bloody works and it's amazing. This is all on part of the damned with the new patch. As always, every build will be on that. That would be all, I hope you enjoyed the build, thank you for watching and see you soon.